Well, greetings, YouTube model people. How's it going? Okay, coming at you here with a final for my 2022 Deformed Cartoon Group Build, hosted by Papa Dan over at Hobby Time with Papa Dan and Tommy over Colonel Reb. And thank you so much, guys, for hosting this build again this year. This was a ton of fun. I did something totally different. Um, and something I probably would never have done on my own. Uh, thanks again to Doug Hensley over at Hensley's Hobbies for sending me this kit. Uh, just as a, as a gift, as he did with many other model builders out on YouTube. Um, and I really appreciate that, Doug, because this was a blast of a, of a kit to build. Um, yeah, I didn't build it perfectly. Yeah, it's not, you know, seams aren't all filled, you know, and all that good stuff. I just had a, a darn good time with it. So... As you can see, we built the MPC Hot Rod uh, Stoker McGurk uh, Surf Rod. And uh, yeah, so again, thanks to um, Papa Dan and Colonel Reb and Tommy. Um, here's the medallion for the 2022 edition. So I will uh, proudly display this with the finished model. So enough of that jibber jabber. Let's show you what we got for a final. Okay, there he is, folks. Stoker McGurk himself. I definitely took some of my own uh, takes on this kit, um, with the decals especially. Um, I kind of just did my own thing. Coloration, the surfboard color, and his vest and all that. I certainly went my own way on that. Um, and all that good stuff. I don't know why it's coming up kind of blurry. Um, so, yeah, there he is holding on for dear life there with the rope. Although he looks pretty confident and pretty cool and calm doing all this. So... I have no doubt he's uh, pretty sure what he's doing. I put the Stroker McGurk, um, Stroker McGurk, excuse me, try to say that a few times fast. I put that on the front here. It's actually supposed to go on the back of his vest. Um, I didn't like it on there. I just think it looked cooler up front um, and that kind of stuff. And I'm going to do something here now that I don't typically do with my builds. And I'm going to try to start, try to start doing it. Uh, we're just going to run through all the colors and paints we used. So starting with the very uh, main part of the bot, um, kit was the blue. I used uh, Tamiya. Look at this, how blurry this is, guys. Boy, I don't know what happened here. Why is it so blurry? Let's see. There we go. A little bit better. Maybe not great, but a little bit better. TS44, brilliant blue. That's the color of the surfboard. The color of the uh, engine is a Model Master color. You're probably not going to be able to find that anymore. Hugger Orange, that's 28108. Um, again, sorry it's blurry, guys. I'm not sure why. Um, the next color we use for the chrome on the engine, which is uh, one of my favorite colors uh, from Tamiya, is the CS30 Silver Leaf in all rattle cans. Uh, the little black there on the top, the blower, is uh, TS14, just gloss black, Tamiya. And then if we get into some of the uh, paints uh, for him, we have um, his vest, which is going to be a color you guys aren't going to really be able to get unless you have it custom mixed. But we took our best crack uh, when I did the uh, 57 Chevy. This color here uh, was called, um, what do they call it here? Atlas Green Blue. Um, we, we basically looked in the catalog of colors and tried to find the best color we could to match a 57 Chevy, and that's basically what we came up with. And that's his vest, of course. Um, his shirt there underneath is basically Craft Smart Parchment White. I love that for an off-white. I also use that for his eyes. Uh, speaking of his eyes, we also used this blue, a very little dot of blue. Uh, someone had asked me, and I think I already responded to them, about Reaper paints. I love these MSP uh, Master Series Paint Reaper paints. Uh, they're acrylic, they're water-based, they're awesome. They brush on beautifully, almost like an enamel, and of course they dry a lot quicker. The only paints uh, of this uh, line that I, I find a little trickier to work with is the metallics, but hey, isn't that always the case? Metallics are a little bit more uh, challenging in some ways, right? So also on the blue, we use some, well, in, in various places we use flat black, right? Again, all the Reaper paints here that I'm showing you. Um, the little ball there, or whatever that is, the shifter in his hand, is uh, red. We used uh, basically fire red, I think that is. Yep, fire red. I don't know why it's so blurry, folks. I'm sorry I keep repeating myself. 
But um, the brown uh, hair, I used this dark brown. Basically, it was basic dirt. We used that for the brown on his hair. Um, for his skin, we used two different tones. Most of it is tanned skin. All right, that's most of it. And then I did a couple little spots, really so subtle, especially on his fingernails and his toenails. I used a little bit of uh, tanned highlight. Uh, again, all of his uh, Reaper Master Series paints. Uh, his shorts or uh, swim trunks. I used this, uh, another beautiful color is this Moonstone Blue. All right. And then the trim which is very subtle on his, I left the white that was on there a little bit, and then I used this for the blue trim, which is uh, uh, ashen blue. Um, and then the last thing I have for color was racing white Tamiya spray can here, Tia 7 for his hat. Um, and I think that that was about it. Um, sorry, this one dragged down a bit. I just wanted to try something different. Let me let, definitely let me know if you want to hear me run down the colors and paints I used in future projects. I don't know if it's uh, something that's interesting or not. Um, you know, it's kind of, and for his mouth, uh, I actually used a uh, Sharpie, a very fine point Sharpie marker pen to, cause it's always indented very nicely molded. And I just took that and uh, drew that in there with a Sharpie. Um, and that's about it. Uh, the orange was basically the same orange, but I dirtied it up quite a bit weathered it up on the life preserver so that's it folks thanks again appreciate it and uh yeah we'll be sending off some pictures to papa dan of the finished build and i look forward to the next year's build because um i actually already bought a kit i'm not going to reveal that just yet but i have a kit in my possession for next year's build so we look forward to that okay cheers